Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tonks and Tells. We're at the Grand Slam of Dance here at Wolverhampton and we've bumped into Wayne Mardell. Hello, Wayne, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good, and, and thanks for asking me. You, you just normally shun me. I don't know why. <laughs> No, we thought this time get Wayne involved. In fact, I put on Facebook earlier on a couple of questions to, to ask you, of course, and uh, some fantastic ones. So this is a nice little start. We've got Mike Norton here, um, Hawaii 501. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Yes, yes, I have. I've uh, been to Maui. Right. Uh, I didn't like it. I'd never be going back. Did you wear the shirt? Well, of course I did. <laughs> it was, it's compulsory. I wear, believe it or not, it's only when, I'm, when you see me on Sky that I wear this. <laughs> Yeah. Away from the hockey, that's all I wear is a wine shirt. That's, that's, that's lovely. Uh, Alan um, uh, from, from Plymouth, uh, if you could be one of the up-and-coming superstars for darts, who would it be? That's a good question. Are there any good-looking ones? Uh, I think since you've uh, retired from the tour, uh, Wayne, I don't think there is. Uh, because it's probably fresh, but Keegan Brown, yeah. I like his style. Yeah. I like how cool he is. Yeah. I yeah. like the way he doesn't get flustered and yeah. he walks around with his head high. Yeah. 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 He's a proper player, isn't he? and that throw, it, it, it doesn't move, does it? He's very straight. I think that's why I, wa I want to be him. Yeah. I've yeah. told him that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, from Kevin Valls, you like this one? Would you rather be attacked by twelve duck-sized horses or twelve horse-sized ducks? Duck-sized horses and horse-sized yeah, ducks. I'm not, not sure. Large ducks. God, no, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Horse-sized... Duck-sized horses. horses. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. Uh, we've got, um, oh, Graham Jones, of course, our friend from down at Plymouth for the exhibitions. <gasps> he wants to know, is that one of the best exhibition venues you've ever been to? Well, I've probably done two, three thousand exhibitions. By far the best one ever, ever. See Graham, see Graham. <laughs> we liked it. Uh, Andrew Buckle, um, after watching the Grand Slam, which any BDO players you think could make it if they moved over to the PDC? Uh, I, I think there's a few, I, I must admit. Uh, Alan Norris, I really like. Yeah. And I think James Wilson, who, who wasn't at the, yeah, the yeah. Grand Slam, yeah. uh, I think they, they would make it. I think they've, they've got a... Uh, I think they've got a way of playing the game with a freedom. Yeah. And I've always said, you, you've just got to play this game like, like you don't care. Yeah. And some of the best players do that. And Michael Van Gerwen's the one. Adrian yeah. Lewis, mm. when he shows that, that freedom, yeah. he wins world titles. Yeah. So for yeah. me, Norris and, and definitely James yeah. Wilson. Lovely. And um, a friend of ours, Gary, are there any decisions in your career that you wish you could have sort of uh, made a little bit differently now? Yeah, definitely the game against Kirk Shepard. The semi-final. The semi-final World Championships. My fifth semi-final as well. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I would change it was because I didn't take it seriously one bit. No. My attitude was disgusting. Really? And I sometimes think... I've never taken darts that seriously anyway. No. Even though it's my business. Yeah. I never wanted to get... I was just talking about freedom. Yeah. I never wanted to get bogged down with it. I always wanted to play with a bit of a bit of panache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have said quite. Anyway, I, I tried to do that when I was under pressure and against him I wasn't under pressure and I just completely I got complacent yeah I got I got a bit dismissive yeah. and yeah yeah, yeah. learned a real hard lesson there yeah because I, I we actually at that that match and of course in the quarterfinal you dispatched a field which was still one of my top three games of all time I mean that, that the atmosphere Thank there was, yeah you. yeah that, that's I thought we'd better get that winning but uh, yeah so yeah because all those semi-finals yeah I can see what you mean of course there's a fantastic one at the, at the Circus Tavern as well again Phil we went along to win it's 180s for fun as well yeah yeah. But, but that one for me is that's the one that's it's a regret yeah okay and finally well it's not it's, it's not a question it's from a good friend of mine Martin Cox he says hey he's a real gent in telling I love him I, lo I love Martin as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's lovely um, thanks Martin. Martin we've got to sort of question your judgment now thank you <laughs> thank you very much Wayne for your time my uh, pleasure and uh, we look forward to seeing Wayne again on Tokes and Tells thanks for joining us